So, <laughs> guess we gotta talk about these caravans. <laughs> Well, why don't they do it legally? They are. They are. Okay. That is how you claim asylum. You show up and you say, I'm claiming asylum. That's how it works. You cannot claim asylum at an embassy or at a consulate. You have to be at a port of entry, which is at the border, or within the country. That's how U.S. law works. These caravans have been coming for 15 years, and they will continue to come as long as our drug war policy remains the same and as long as we keep intervening in these countries. If you actually look back in uh, 2009, see what happened in Honduras, which is where this caravan is coming from, take a look to see what the U.S. had to do with legitimizing that coup in that country, which is a big source of the violence they're fleeing. This is a uh, blowback this is consequences. Now we have a whole bunch of questions you keep getting asked, you know. One of them is who's going to pay for them? Us. Tax dollars. That's what that's what's going to pay for them. It's been going on for a long time. Office of Refugee Resettlement. They spend about half a billion dollars a year doing this and have for a very long time. Half a billion dollars we need something to compare it to, right? Remember that family detention fiasco Trump pulled down at the border? That cost two billion in just that short amount of time. And this is half a billion for a whole year to help them get on their feet. We're actually getting them on their feet rather than just warehousing. So it's, it's cheaper to be a good person. Another question <laughs> keeps popping up. Why do they keep coming in these big groups? It's Halloween, right? We you tell your kids about trick-or-treating. You say, hey, go off out there alone. There's safety in numbers, right? Same principle applies. No big conspiracy there. Now, I did my best to answer most questions in the comments, those that were common. Um, I got a question for y'all. For everybody saying to turn them away, give me one good reason to send these people back to their deaths. One. I can't think of one. It's the U.S. You can't preach freedom and then deny it. <laughs>